In 2012, the Hastings College baseball team finished 7th in the GPAC with a 9-11 record in the conference and a 14-28 record overall, losing to Dakota Wesleyan University in the GPAC tournament. This year, they are expecting a different outcome with a new head coach and Steve Spongberg. Spongberg has coached at Sutton Public Schools for 27 years, where his career record for baseball is 1,261 and 497 overall, and he is excited about what he can bring to Hastings College baseball. Well, I'd like to think I bring some enthusiasm to the game, and not that there hasn't been some there, but it's uh, with a new regime. We've hired two great coaches. Uh, Travis McCarter's come with us as our pitching coach, and Blake Marquardt is our uh, hitting instructor and also works with the outfielders. So uh, I've surrounded myself, I think, with good people, but I think they bring an equal enthusiasm, and I think I bring some knowledge of the game, having been around the game for about oh, close to 40 years now. Coach Spongberg thinks the strength of the team is the pitching, where last season the Broncos were outscored 246 to 162 in overall runs allowed. The major emphasis for improvement will be on the defensive side of the ball if the Broncos want to be able to compete in this tough GPAC conference. Uh, we feel like we have to improve defensively. When I looked at their fielding percentages last year, uh, they didn't feel at a great percentage. So we have to become better defensively, and we're certainly working on that. Obviously, offensively, we've got to score more runs, and that's something that's a, that's a, a work in, in progress, I guess. We're working hard fundamentally on the, on the offensive side of things. Due to the renovations here at Duncan Field, concerning the press box, dugouts, concession stands, and the bathrooms, Coach Sponberg isn't even sure how much the Broncos will be able to use its home field this season. Uh, it's, a, it's a major renovation, uh, but I think it's going to be something that we're going to have to all be patient with. We're not sure how much we're going to get to use the facility this year because of all the renovations. A lot of that will depend upon the weather and, and the progress that they can make throughout the winter. The Broncos still have about five weeks left of fall ball, but they are working hard for when they open the season on February 8th against Bellevue University at the Oklahoma City Tournament in Oklahoma City. With HC Media, I'm Dan Miller.